Hey guys, Jeff from Showit here. In this video, I wanna give you a behind the scenes look at blogging with Showit. So if you have questions about what it means to blog with Showit, go ahead and watch our blog explainer video, which will cover all of those details. You can find it linked below in the description. That's definitely the place to start, but if you've already watched the blog explainer video and have a solid concept of how blogging works with Showit, this video is going to show you the actual interface so that you can make sense of it while you're building your Showit website. So as you'll see here, I'm in my Showit design, and in all of the designs that come available in Showit, you're going to have blog template pages like you see here. Every single design is going to come with a blog and a single post page as these are the minimum required pages you need in order to have a blog with Showit. So if you've blogged with WordPress before, this is going to feel really familiar. If you're not familiar with WordPress, no worries. This is a super easy concept. In these pages, you're really only working on your design, which is going to translate to your WordPress theme. So you have all the drag and drop power of show it in here to move items around and do whatever you'd like to build out your theme, which is then applied to your blog. So you'll see here in my blog page, I have an alternating style here. This is going to be my post list, which is going to display all of the posts that I've created in my blog in this alternating style. You'll see that I only have the two placeholders here, the one with the image on the left and the one with the image on the right, which will repeat down the page to uh, accommodate all the posts that I create, which I'll show you in just a moment. So if I click on to any of these items here, you'll see that if I look into my properties panel, I have a WordPress placeholder option and I can choose from various placeholders here. Likewise, you'll see this little flag that tells me exactly what placeholder is currently on it. Post categories, post excerpt, and here you'll see that um, this image is set to be our WordPress featured image. Now, when I click on read more, if I was in your blog and I click on read more to read the entire post, it's going to load up in this single post format here. So again, if I click through, you're gonna see that there, there's WordPress placeholders and um, these placeholders serve as um, a guide for WordPress and show it to communicate so that when your blog and your site is live, show it will tell WordPress, hey, I need you to put the post title in this area right here. I need you to put the post uh, date here, I need you to put the categories here, so on and so forth. So you're not ever going to see your custom blog content pulled into the back end of Showit. You're only going to see it on your live blog. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If your Showit subscription includes a blog and you've not yet had our team set that up for you, check out the link in the description below to get that set up. Once our team has set up a blog and let you know that they've gotten that set up for you, you'll log into the back end of WordPress and you'll land on this dashboard. Now all you really need to be able to do is go to posts here and create a post. So you'll see I've got a couple created. I'm going to click add new to create a new post here. And then uh, we're going to call this one shop local, eat local. You just add your content here, start with some text. Then we'll add some images that we've already uploaded to our media library here that you can see. We've selected four images here and I'm gonna insert all of those into the post. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is format this to my liking, so. All right, now you'll see I've got my content all set in here, my images, um, my text is all set here. I've got everything set up the way I want. And now you'll see I have the option of selecting some categories over here. So we'll choose uh, local business, community. Um, those are both great. You'll see I can add tags here if I want. And last but not least, I can set the featured image here, which is really important. I'm going to choose the image of these peaches here. And then I can go ahead and publish. So now let's see how that shows up here on the live blog. So you'll see I have the shop local eat local here. I've got the peaches that I set as my um, featured image. And if I click read more, it's going to load up into that single post view for me here with all my content. You'll see all my images. My placeholder for um, post comments is in there as well. So if we go back here, you'll see we have our comments placeholders on the single post page. And again, you'll see that alternating style is happening here on the home page of the blog. 
uh, with the image on the left, image on the right, image on the left, so on and so forth. And you'll see, even though I only had these two placeholders set up in the back end of Show It here, uh, it's just repeating that style all the way down the page, left, right, left, right. A great pro tip that I typically tell people is when you get into your blog pages, don't change much other than the aesthetics until you get a good feel for how it all works. Change your fonts, change your colors, what have you, um, but, but leave everything intact because it's, it comes set up ready to function correctly with you and link up with WordPress. So I highly suggest that you just change your aesthetics here don't change too much so that you don't lose those WordPress placeholders and then you're totally at a loss for how to proceed. So um, make your adjustments sparingly until you can get your blog up and get a good feel for how that connection works. But it's really as basic as being able to create your post here and then that post is going to pull into that style here. Also at the bottom of every post here, if you've got your Yoast SEO plugin activated, which you can go to plugin and activate if you're on our basic blog or if you're on our advanced tier, you can just search for Yoast SEO in plugins and download it there. But you'll see here I have the ability to um, edit my snippet preview, add some SEO, readability, things of that nature. So it gives you a really nice option here in the bottom of your post before you publish to dial in that SEO for each and every post, which is part of the wonder of the power of WordPress, which is why we love it so much. So I hope this clears up some questions that you might have about how uh, Showit and WordPress function together and what that marriage of the two looks like for you as the Showit user. If you still have questions, I do a live weekly Q&A every week that you can find by going to showit.co slash webinar. You can sign up there and any questions you have will get answered in real time during the live Q&A. So I'd love to uh, answer any questions you have and I hope to see you there. Happy designing.